Hmm. Well, that was the second yeah. big computer glitch. The second one of the day. Yeah, but it does not appear that the problem on Wall Street is the same one that grounded United's airplane fleet just hours earlier. Long lines of passengers out at DIA this morning. The airline stopping all flights due to a problem with its computer system. Now, some flights were delayed by up to three hours, and this was the second time in two months that United has had a problem like this. We know you're frustrated. Oh, Sorry. A lot of people out um, there. Right now, neither of those problems is being blamed on hackers. But they are raising questions about how easily hackers could get into systems like this. New at 5, 7 News reporter Jennifer Kovaleski finding many of our nation's computer systems are vulnerable to attack. Jen? Eric, the more complex a system is, the easier it is to hack. Check this out. This is a map showing how interconnected the Internet is. It's actually so complicated. Experts say that a lot of people really don't understand it. So when something goes wrong, it can take hours and even days to fix. Relying on computers usually makes our lives easier. But when that technology fails... We operate based on computers today, and things will go wrong. Nothing's perfect. This is the result. Long lines at United. And a total shutdown of the New York Stock Exchange. Security expert Steve Beatty says it creates more than just headaches. When we have those capabilities, we depend upon them, and when they don't work, it creates a, a very large mess to the tune of millions and billions of dollars. While United and Wall Street claim hackers aren't to blame, Beatty says crashing a system is one of the easiest forms of cyber warfare. We often see this as we call it reconnaissance. That is, we're going to break into a system and see what we can do, see how, how vulnerable it is to a particular exploit. And as our world becomes more complex... Our cars are run by software these days. The airplanes themselves are run by software these days. The traffic lights. Beatty says we can expect to see more failures. Anytime there's a complex system, it's difficult to control. And it's what we would consider brittle. That is, you know, there are points that are very susceptible to being broken. Complex software that's difficult to control and to protect from hackers. It's a chess game. And we have to keep our game strong. Beatty says for the most part, hacking is very inexpensive and almost impossible to prosecute, which makes it that much easier for people to get away with it. Anne? Yeah, all too common, that's for sure. Thank you, Jen.